Okay, so the much awaited video is finally here. So you might be already aware about the fact that Ria recently left Google. Uh, Ria, let's start from the absolute base level. How exactly the interview process overall started? I would say medium to hard uh, lead code questions. And imagine the whole round is just for 45 minutes, right? And like five minutes for, in um, I would say, introduction. Another last five minutes. What was your preparation strategy like? So I would say whatever resources are being given to you, take them very, very seriously. <laughs> Okay, so the much awaited video is finally here. So if you have been following us on Instagram, so you might be already aware about the fact that Ria recently left Google and joined Meta. So uh, finally, we'll be working in the same company altogether. And there was a lot of requests from a lot of people to actually get some insights on interview experience of Ria that how was the process like, what were the set of rounds and how she approached all the set of interviews. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about how she prepared and what was the overall interview process like. But before we start, of course, uh, congratulations, Ria, on uh, cracking Meta. And uh, let's start going into the deep dive of how your interview process was like, what were the set of rounds and what was the preparation strategy. This is going to be the overall agenda for this particular video. Let's go ahead. So before we start, um, if you have not yet followed the channel, do consider subscribing the channel because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead. Also do check out the YouTube channel of AlgoCam where we are putting some really great content around data structures and algorithms. So let's just start. So uh, Ria, let's start from the absolute base level. What were the set of rounds and how exactly the interview process overall started for uh, your location at London? Okay, so I think the process has changed a little bit very recently, I think from what um, Sanket interviewed. So I'll tell you about my process. Uh, so there were about three screening rounds. Uh, the f two were like online tests and one was like an interview that you have to give. Uh, the first um, online uh, test that I actually gave was about a DSA round. It had four questions in it and you had to progressively solve all the questions. And after that, it was a behavioral situational round. So for example, you were given a situation about something that happens in the company and you just have to tell how would you really respond to it and there were questions about that and only when you clear both the rounds uh, and you have enough score on both the online test then you move on to a virtual interview with one of the meta interviewers and there you have two questions both are again DSA questions I would say medium lead code and uh, you have to solve both the questions in order to move to the next uh, set of on-site interviews so I think for me I clear both the online test and I also cleared the virtual interview and once I cleared this um, I would say screening interviews then I essentially moved to the next set of rounds which was the on-site interviews okay so like how are the um, on-site interviews like and I would also love to know that how you approach for the corresponding position like were you able to uh, get some referrals or you directly apply to the portal if you can briefly talk about that that would be great for the audience Okay, so for me, I actually started my interview process by taking a referral. I think in the past also is that it has worked really well for me. And I think I thought now also I'll go with a meta um, referral only to start my interview round. So I think that's how my interview loop actually started. And then once I cleared all the pre-screening interviews, I started with the virtual um, on-site interviews only and which again had um, four rounds in it and I think it was very similar to yours as well. Again, you have two DSA rounds, you have two data structures questions in each round. I would say medium to hard uh, lead code questions and I had to solve both of them uh, and complete the implementation for them as well as discussing the some, I would say, corner cases and some time and space complexities and only when you clear both the rounds and like you are successfully able to done, successfully complete those as well then you move on to the system uh, design round as well and there is a behavioral round after that as well so i think the main um i would say on-site or uh, virtual interviews basically had four rounds in it two data structures one system design and one behavioral round got it makes sense yeah like my full loop was also kind of like similar but of course the initial eliminatory part has changed a bit yeah just for the context for everybody uh, the full loop means that all of the set of rounds are going to happen and you will get a cumulative feedback at the end. Some companies do follow the full loop, some companies have a more eliminatory round at every stage. So that's different for Meta, we were having at least our full interview loop. So um, I got that uh, point Ria that uh, how your interviews were like, but uh, can you talk about the fact that uh, what was the overall difficulty at each level and what do you think was 
most important that worked in your favor like was it like you were able to solve both the questions correctly or your overall speed of solving was good or the code quality was something that you did well what really went well in the data structures round what do you think okay great question i think um, every company not every company but specifically at fang there's a different preference to these kind of i would say things when you're giving interviews at meta speed is very very important and something that worked really well for me if you are able to solve both the data structures questions within so imagine the whole round is just for 45 minutes right and like 5 minutes for in, um, i would say introduction another last 5 minutes for like you know closing remarks and any questions that i have so you essentially just get like 30 35 minutes and in that you have to solve both the questions discuss the time and space complexity you also have to go ahead and you know um i would say um discuss a few corner cases also so i think the time is something that you run against at a lot and i think i was able to quickly solve both the questions again a lot of practice really helps in these things if you have solved enough questions you kind of just see the question and it clicks you so i think that really um, worked well for me i think similarly was for system design round as well if you have solved a similar problem and it clicks you uh, like quite early it helps you a lot in the whole interview loop as well and i think behavioral is more like you know uh, just based on your past experience what you've done in the past has it worked like what's your past project that you're really proud about mostly star questions is what they focus on got it cool so i guess that gave a really good context around the set of rounds and i believe i totally resonate with the fact that uh, if you have 40 minutes then your speed along with accuracy yeah. is something that really really matters a lot mm. now uh, coming to the system design aspect of the things um, what was your preparation strategy like what you actually focused on while you were preparing where you prepared from and what really went well in the system design round that led the overall feedback in favor of you can you talk about that as as well got it okay so i think um, what i would say is whatever resources are available online and not about paid resources even the free resources available online are more than enough there are a lot of youtube videos available there are a lot of online free articles available and i was personally following all of them i think algo camp also has some great system design offerings available so do check out that as well we are uh, i think a focus a lot in general is on the fact that we do practical implementations and go end to end on the solutions so yeah i think um, i was mostly following the same idea i was reading a lot of past interview experiences i could see uh, what questions are being asked to other people who are interviewing right and i could see a pattern of a couple of questions which are asked quite frequently and i tried to basically practice on the same line so i think that kind of helped a lot do know that a lot of indexing in the interviews is done on system design round so your performance kind of defines a lot you know that how exactly you're going to be scale in the interviews and whether you'll be selected or not so system design round is very crucial i think same was with you sanket as yep, well yeah yeah definitely like system design aspect is something that is just very carefully uh interestingly in most of the companies that i interviewed with like uber microsoft amazon uh or sorry not amazon like meta uh most of the system design rounds is taken by senior engineers or senior staff engineers so that's why they also grill you a lot on system design aspects uh so this is something which is which take, keeps the most weightage definitely yeah. i agree to that fact so yeah like i got the overall context and i believe everybody got the context around the uh, set of rounds uh so one quick question on the behavioral side like um i believe a lot of people don't understand the crux and the importance of behavioral round like i am one of those i was like in my some of my interviews i didn't take my behavioral rounds too seriously that eventually backfired for me but i guess you got really great feedback for your behavioral round uh what was your preparation strategy like um did you uh, practice some questions or were you uh kind of like were you having your story structured already based on your past experience how you approach this behavioral round that's something very important that i want to know okay so i think um obviously i cannot share the exact questions but what i would say is when you actually enter into the full loop uh specifically i'm talking about the behavioral round they do share a set of questions or like you know set of things that you should focus on right that is going to be very very crucial for the interviews and personally for my case i felt like uh, the resources that were shared in terms of like what kind of questions can be asked it did kind of turn uh, they did kind of turn up into the actual interview so they tell us like you know these kind of things that can be asked for example your past projects or you can say your you know what is the most biggest accomplishment 
accomplishment that you have any conflicts anything like that so i would say whatever resources are being given to you take them very very seriously they are actually really good and align a lot with what actually happens in the interview so what i did was uh, in my interview before my interview actually i went through all of those questions or resources shared and i prepared my answers already because sometimes uh, what interviewers are actually looking at not just at meta but pretty much at, uh, pretty much at every company specifically for behavioral round is signals right they ask you a question they expect an answer and they are looking for certain signals certain words in that answer and if you give them they actually just stop you and say okay i have enough data points let's move on to the next question so i think that is something very important uh, for behavioral round prepare your answers beforehand keep some of your best projects already handy make sure you have the right words to highlight for that and then just like go ahead in the same process so uh, for the rest of the questions as well so yeah i think that is something which is very important good preparation again is something that they index on a lot uh, because they know that system design and behavioral kind of defines the way how you can work in a very progressive and i would say in a very um, like a competitive environment so they would really like to see you fit into the culture as well and yeah i think that is something i did a lot like i pre prepared a lot my answers and i knew what exactly things i want to highlight on makes sense cool so i guess we got a good context and definitely again congratulations on clearing all of the rounds i believe uh, meta is one of those companies where you will love the dev culture and i hope your I hope upcoming so. journey is going to be great okay so one last question from my side ria like you interviewed for a couple of big techs like microsoft amazon in the past google of course in the past and now you interviewed with meta so how was the interview process different for meta compared to other companies let's say if there is somebody who is already working in a place like google and they have a interview schedule for meta what kind of difference they can actually uh, consider or expect in the upcoming interviews um okay so i think when you're specifically interviewing at meta i think i've already kind of touched upon this a little bit but i'll just say it again um speedness is something that they really really focus on and like i said the time is really tight and they do really expect you to solve all the questions all the questions they have in mind during that period of time so just keep that in mind specifically for data structures and algorithms i think secondly for system design know that the, again the focus a lot is on the completeness you can't just be like you started a discussion and then you kind of end on a open ended solution and like the interviewer does not have enough data points to mark you on you should be able to come to the end solution and you should be able to kind of solve the question that they really ask so there's usually they start with the open ended question and then they kind of deep dive into something you should have a complete answer for that deep dive question as well and again for behavioral round there are specific signals that they're looking at so you should be focusing a lot on the fact that you know uh, whatever signals they require whatever resources they have shared you do have really good and crisp answers for that you cannot use like so they are going to be asking you a lot of questions and you cannot spend like 5 5 minutes on a single question you need to keep your answers really really crisp and you also have to make sure that the interviewer is satisfied by the end because they were able to complete and ask all your questions so i think that is something again most of the fan companies focus on but this is something i feel like a meta focuses on a lot and if you are able to really come up on and kind of like satisfy all these requirements it does end up you having being um, selected and yeah i think that was uh, for my case makes sense So that was it for uh, this particular video. I would like to thank Ria for taking out some time and sharing her interview experience. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I would love to answer all of them and maybe I'll ask Ria to also reply to those comments. And uh, in case you have some suggestions or some specific topic that you want us to make a video on based on her experience and interview experiences, we would love to get some ideas there. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Have a lovely week ahead. This is Sanket Singh signing off.